Today is November 27th, and it is the 52nd today since the war has broken out between Israel and Hamas and Hezbollah. The big news is, in these newspapers, that uh, 14 Israeli hostages have been released yesterday in the third stage of this uh, s temporary ceasefire. 14 hostages, Arba'asrat Khatufim Israelim, Israeli hostages, and three foreign workers were released from the hands of Hamas. And here we see their faces. It's women and children, no fathers. Some of the fathers are still in captivity. Others have been uh, killed on October 7th. Let's take a look at Yediot Achronot. Yahel Mechaka Le'aba. Yahel is one of the girls that was uh, released yesterday and she's waiting for her father. Her father is still in the hands of Hamas uh, with many more hostages in Gaza. Avigail Babait, Avigail is at home without mother and father. So if this was Yahel, this is Avigail, a four-year-old girl. Uh, she was released yesterday. Everybody was so happy to see her safe and sound. Uh, but her two parents were killed on October 7th. This headline reads that some combat fighters re declared a rebellion in a specific platoon. We'll read more uh, details inside. It is a rare story, but it happens. But first, the major headlines are about the return of the hostages. It says, how much we have waited for you, Avigail. And each picture here, there are beautiful photos and stories of the hostages returning to their families. Uh, some of them are still separated because of um, the murder, um, of the members and some uh, fathers are still in the captivity in Hamas. But you see here uh, joyous moments, um, huge smiles, tears and hugs. Very, very exciting to see. Right here it says about Alma and Noam, for instance. Alma is 13, Noam is 17, but the, f the mother was murdered. The father is still in captivity, but the children came back. And here, Hila came back being separated from her mother in captivity. Her mother is still in Gaza. So the joy is not complete. And that's what all of Israel is saying. The joy is not complete, but very happy for the hostages that are back. And here we see the Thai workers, uh, Thai families, uh, very, very happy. They were crying from excitement. The next headline reads about uh, the dispute that is causing a storm, the elite unit, the intelligence of the IDF. It's called 8200. And uh, it just says about the in information that was there before the attack on October 7th, but it was ignored. So there will be a careful and thorough um, uh, investigation coming up soon once the war is finished, because the investigation needs to be done. Sleeping on the benches, little food, and waiting a long time to use the bathroom. These are um, a few you can say testimonies of uh, the time and the captivity. It's right for just a few of the captives. We don't know the whole story, but we're slowly gathering information um, about what was it like in captivity. It's, it, everybody is interested, what is it like in Hamas captivity? And the information is slowly coming out. Uh, in the pictures here, we see uh, the different cities where the hostages are, um, you know, are from receiving the hostages yesterday with uh, gladness and hundreds of people in the entrance of the villages, the communities and the cities uh, with flags and cries of uh, shouts of joy and signs uh, welcoming the hostages back home. The next headline is about Benjamin Netanyahu. He's in Gaza. Um, he's the prime minister of Israel, of course, and it says Nilham. He's fighting in all fronts, and they're meaning that he's also fighting in the politic, political front. Um, that's why he's in Gaza and shows on, he's with uh, the military uniform um, amongst the soldiers there, and he says, we will fight until the victory. Mamshichim Adasov will continue until the end, until the victory. Adanitzachon. The next headline was referred to in the front page. It says, Hakrav Pluga, the battle that tore apart the platoon. The platoon commander and his deputy were removed from their job as a result of withdrawing in battle and not engaging in battle with the enemy. Both of those officers with a Dozens of the soldiers under their command claimed that we did not get aid, we did not get support, uh, back, you know, backup support uh, in front of so many uh, terrorists, dozens of terrorists that were fighting against us with RPGs. So there is a um, crack in trust in, this ID, in the IDF platoon. But from an investigation, it says that the, pl the planned attack was not even planned well. It, was pr it wasn't properly planned. And uh, lessons are learned, the IDF says, and we're filling up again the rows or the positions of this platoon. But the, um, the platoon commander and his deputy are removed from their job. 
Here's the daily segment of the hostages, Chatufim. Omer, he's 22 years old from Gadera, and his three best friends are standing holding his uh, photograph with a sign that says, Machzirim et Omer habaita, bringing Omer back home. In the next page, there is a cute cartoon of uh, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, holding a birthday cake with the big number four in it, reading Avigail, as Avigail is coming to him. This is as a result of his uh, heartwarming speech yesterday that um, caused Israel to feel very encouraged, uh, his joy that Avigail is back into Israel. And we'll finish on this positive note. It reads, Yedi Otachonot, the name of the newspaper, is with the combat soldiers in Gaza. And here, um, these are soldiers that are, you know, just saying hi to their parents and their family. Um, for instance, I can say uh, here, uh, he's from an elite unit. He says to my uh, dear wife, I love you very much. And to my uh, dear loved parents, thank you for everything. We're here in an important role, an important assignment. I promise to come back as soon as I can. Kisses to everyone. I'm sure the parents and the wives are uh, so happy to see their faces and their words printed like this uh, for them, especially for them in the newspaper. So these are the major headlines in the new Hebrew newspapers. There's another stage of this temporary ceasefire that's happening today with the release of more hostages in exchange of Palestinian uh, terrorists that are in jail in Israel. For more stories, go to All Israel News and follow us on social media and YouTube. This is Rotem again for All Israel News.